Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday, but with this, you know, I'm not going to do anything too messy, but what I am going to do is some tracing paper strips. I haven't done those in a while. I have none in my reserves and so really want to get busy on that. I am looking and I am, okay. Anyway, let's say hi and hugs and we'll get started. So hi and hugs to Miss Heritage Girl, Nancy, Debbie, and Darlene. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, I just realized that I'm missing a supply, which is um, this. I like to use this deli paper to stamp on for these. I also, somebody sent me this one. That's going to work great too. But um, first what you need is the tracing paper. So what I have is this. I just got it at um, Hobby Lobby tracing paper. Okay. I thought I'd show you that. And then I've ripped it into strips two and a half three inch strips and then um and then i have lots of stamping i have i already have quite a bit so i think i'll be okay but i wanted to show you i got a few new stamps at hobby lobby this little one um there's st this is stamp abilities this little bunny funny enough this that was sent to me has that bunny stamp on it <laughs> And then a little uh, dragonfly stamp and this little flower with mushrooms. I, I love those. So, well, darn it, I got out all of my things. Do you want to just talk amongst yourselves and I'll quick like grab some? Okay, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, a long conversation with yourselves. Well, I couldn't find the plane, but I found some that was jelly printed on, and I thought, well, that might be cool. So let's do that. Let's stamp, a f just stamp a few little ones. I really wanted to use my new stamps is the thing. So, um, so what I do is just fill the whole page. And... Um, while I'm stamping, it seems like seems like a smart thing to do is just get them. And I just leave enough room around them to tear. Okay. Well, there's some of those. And let's do... I'm going to do a dark brown coffee. Or do I want to do sepia? I might, might do some of both on this mushroom stamp. It's going to be kind of neat. With <laughs> It's just an added layer to have the, the um, jelly print on there know how how great these are as far as oh pretty good let's see oh good Mike's on the phone I hope it's our contractor Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> oh, somebody said, one of my subbies said something about, oh gosh, we've been, we've been at this contract. I've been trying to get something or another done for a couple months. And I'm like, well, I'm on a couple of years. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Well, 
Oh, I do like that a little stamp. Should have probably had my stampin' thingamajiggy, but I don't. My little um, it's kind of a spongy sort of a thing. Okay, let's do let's do a couple of these, and then. And I'm going to do some other things. <laughs> some of my older stamps. Oh, he's good. Cool. Okay. All right. So then I want to do I want to do some bees. Fuzzy. How about a nice even half dozen? Okay, and then I want to do a few of this bunny. Probably get two of those in too. And what else? Should I do this little fuzzy bird? He's a favorite. Yeah. Okay, I think I can get one more dragonfly. Doesn't matter if it's upside down, sideways, whatever, because. We are going to cut this out anyways. Tear it out. Okay, cool. So that's the first step. Get some images onto, um, onto your paper. Then the next step will be, um, I am going to grab a stamping paper here. Just a little something so I don't get ink all over my all over my desk. So then I'm gonna take this is a three inch, and we're gonna background stamp a few. So I've got this background stamp, I've got this one. For a minute I thought I lost my favorite, which is this one. This is a Hero Arts from 2004. So whether or not that's available anymore, I don't know. And I'm thinking, what about using this? That would be fun as background stamp too. Okay, cool. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick some colors and then we're just going to, we're going to go for it here. Um, I really like using green on these. So I think I'm going to use my big old stamp here and put some green on it. And again, this is background stamping, does not have to be perfect. But what's kind of nice about this is it covers up the whole thing just about. Yeah. Ooh, I love that. Well, see, there's the bright side of me purchasing this set on eBay. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is real pretty. Okay. do a couple more. Gosh, my husband is walking on the treadmill for the second time today. It's very ambitious. <laughs> okay, and then let's just finish that off down there. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do on that one. Um, 
I'm going to do a few of these. Here's a, I think this is like about a two and a half inch strip, which is awesome for tags. Let's, let's do for decorating. Um, and at the moment, I can't show you one of these but what I do then is um, is take these and um, take these and like I'll cut it and this will this like just this much will decorate a tag if that makes sense do I have a tag handy So like this can go down there, cut that off, and that decorates this tag. It's a super quick way to decorate once you have these made. And they're so much fun to make. Um, I am going to try some of this coffee in the background of this one. I don't know why. That's just, it's just sounding good to me. So I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Kind of a, a woodsy sort of a feel to it. Okay, that one's done. We'll just set setting those aside to dry a little bit. Okay, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna try. Let's do let's do a two and a half or again, but let's do this one. And then I'm going to, after I do this, I'm going to come back with some pink. Did you hear me say I love this stamp? Boy, I do. It's cool. It's really cool. And one more at the bottom. Okay. Alrighty then. Now I'm going to take my pink, if I can get my hands on it here. Yep. And I'm going to take this little dot stamp and go back over this in spots. Okay, so that one, pink and green, that's fun. Okay, I am going to do, I think, one more strip. Let's do another. I won't get all these decorated today. I know that because it takes, it takes a little bit to do them, but, um, but they'll be ready for next time, right? I'm going to do this again because I'm in love with it. Got a little green to it, too. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, I have a new happy favorite stamp. <laughs> okay, let's let's call that good for the moment. All right, so now, oh, I didn't do any. Maybe not. One more. I want to do um, pink and turquoise because I love it so much. Okay. Alrighty then, let's do 
We haven't used this one yet. Let's do it. It's a 2003 Stampin' Up! It says. Obviously, the stamping does not have to be perfect because there's going to be many layers on this. Okay. So, then, let's do this with the pink. Okay, cool. Now I have all sorts of colors <laughs> to play with. Alrighty, so put those away. Now, all my stamps, shove those over to the side there. Get them out of our way. Alrighty then. Oh, we're gonna need our gonna need our glue book here. So get that. Okay, we can put these aside as well. All right, so we have our strips. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little collaging on them. I'm gonna grab my scraps as well. Oops. Okay, grab some scraps and do some collaging on here. I am thinking this would go kind of neat on here. And you can orient these either vertically or horizontally. Um, I don't know the best. I'm going to turn that over and maybe you'll be able to see better. How's that look through the camera? Yeah, you can see a little bit better that way. Okay. Cool. So, we are going to add some collage pieces, some book page, whatever. Oops. Got a little too confident there. <laughs> okay, so. So now I am going to strip this right about here. Strip down here. Maybe there. What, just experience wise, what I found is about three for this for this length which is 14 inches about three kind of spots where I would cut are about the best so I'm kind of going I'm kind of going with that so I'm gonna put this one down at the bottom and then we'll just put that one there now I need some book page. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some of this. Well, this is fun. It's um some numbers. Let's just set that over there. We may need some more of that. Here's some cool stuff too. Sorry, guys, that was a squeak. That was my drawer getting stuck. Okay, let's use some of this. Um, I'm going to just tear it down a bit. Get those pieces that are good for stamping because I love the rag paper for stamping. Okay, let's just... See what we do here. This one for sure. Do I want that long of a one? I might. I usually don't go that long, but I 
don't know my husband's either <laughs> working off something like cheesecake <laughs> or he's I don't know he's just very busy on the old treadmill today that's too much Oh, more like that, I think. Okay, so let's get those put down. And we will go from there. Oh, this book, I'm going to be glad when it's done. It's It sheds. <laughs> really does shed. Okay, so... We'll just pop these down. This is kind of the, the one that I felt like had a bit of a forest feel to it. It's kind of turning out a bit fall colors, isn't it? But, you know, don't want it to come quite yet, but it's going to come. And um, you can, you can... Uh, distress if you want to. I tend to distress the edges of it once I'm done, more so than putting any distress on it while I'm making it, but you know, you do you. Okay, so put that there. Okay, and then this guy is gonna kind of go the length of the middle. I want to get one done all the way through so you can see the whole process. At least one. I want some just for making some ephemera. Okay, so there we go. There's kind of our three sections somewhat. Okay, I want... I think I want to go... I think I'll do like a mushroom and a couple bugs. So I'm just gonna tear what we already stamped. If you hold a thumb or a finger where you don't want to tear, you should be good to go that way. Okay. Set that one over there for now. Okay. So, I think the mushroom, and now I'm going to tear it closer to the stamped image. Once I've got it torn out, I'll kind of fussy tear it around the image. Okay. Like that there. Then our bugs. Got our bugs. Getting a little hungry for lunch, peeps. It's been a while. It's been a while since my cheesecake. Yes, he did it again. He made a cheesecake. What am I gonna do with that guy? I'm gonna I'm going to go beyond fluffy one of these days. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's just too good. I did talk him into smaller pieces. That was, that was good. But <laughs> I told you, didn't I, that he's going to make a cheesecake for my retreat. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay. Okay, we're going to put those on now. Gosh, it's been forever since I made one of these. It's so fun. It's so fun. It is a bit mis mixed media-ish, given we've, we're using different things like deli paper and tracing paper and such. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now... 
we are going to grab uh, labels. Either, either, um, let's see, what's that one? Oh. This one's always good, but Timmy's, it's Tim Holtz Eccentric Stamping. And, and this is the stamping that I do on, um, on my scraps, like I have over there. And there's some words, there's some numbers. I like this number. I'll put that right there. And then... Why not? We'll put that one there. Okay, now I often do do a little distressing around the lab the labels. You could use plain old labels. You can also use frames on these. I've done that before. Um, yeah, whatever you kind of have at your disposal and feel like using, go for it. So that one's up there. This one's, I'm going to tear that edge too. I think I need to, this weekend, have myself a little stamp fest with those strips. Because um, the, the basket's overflowing. <laughs> so I'm going to put that right there. This one. This is going to go here. This one, and then these will become like the focal point on a tag or whatever. Oops, I was gonna put that up above, wasn't I? Okay, so now next step is we are going to grab a text stamp. Let's see. can find my text stamp. Oh, here's one that will work. Okay, this little one will work. And I'm going to take black ink and we're going to kind of fill in the blanks and tie things together with the text stamp. If that makes any sense okay so like up here i'm just gonna go clear across that and then tie in those and just get a little bit in there Okay, so that one is basically done. So I want to put it on, um, on some tags just so you can see the whole process. And then if we have time, we'll make another one, okay? Um, I'm just going to grab my to-do box and see what we have in here that this that these would go well on. Let's see. Now I've got I've got some sprayed tags. They're just sprayed. Those are that is going to need to be sewn around, but I'm wondering mm, don't love it. Don't love it. So let's not do it. Here's one that's sewn around already that could be good. I think we might use that for that one. Okay. And then that one on that one. And what what shall we do with our B? 
Nope, that's too long. Uh, ooh. There's some pretty tags from Papery by Jennifer that are kind of sprayed and sparkly. I'm wondering about this green one. Yes, let's do that. Okay, grab some tags. And keep in mind you can do the same for journal cards. And, again, you can go this way if you want to for on journal cards. I don't find it as easy, I'm just going to say, but um, you can still do it. For some reason, my mind just wants to go vertical on these. Okay, so... Let's go right about there on that one. Okay. So that's going to go with that one. This little guy is going to be right about there. And this one, I think I'll have to Yeah, that's going to be just great. Okay, so then what we do, I am going to clip the edges of this. This needs to kind of be a tag shape itself. Let's see if that looks better. Yep. Okay, then all you do is glue them down. Let me get my spreader. So we've gone start to finish on these. So I am excited because I know there's lots of new people that have I have other videos on this if you want to take a look at those I think if you um, search Gail Augustinelli tracing tracing paper strips those other videos should come up I think okay so and there we go, making sure it's straight. And I'm just going to smooth that out. And look at there. We have got instant decorated tag. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I love these. I really do. They're fun to have just to grab in your in your stash. So now we're gonna do this little guy. How cute is that gonna be? Let's see what's on the back, yep. These are all ready to go now. Okay. I'm gonna line this one up at the bottom because Oh, it needs a little snip, too. Okay. There we go. There's that one. Okay, and the bee. Let's do the bee. Yay, I'm glad I got the whole process in. I wasn't sure if I would, but I wanted to show you how to use them too because no sense making them if you don't know how to use them. So I'm going to go right about there. And there that is on that beautiful tag by Papery by Jennifer. Okay, so we got two, or t two, we got three totally, totally, totally done. So isn't that the funnest? Oh, I just think it's so much fun. Okay, I want to try one with uh, florally, whatever, whatever. Oh, and we have time. Yes. Okay, let's, let's do blue for something, for something a little different. 
Okay. Um, scraps. What do we have? What do we have that will perchance go with that? Um, some blue here. Little bits of blue. Little blue on this one. blue here. Okay. Ooh. And I've got some Mamagami paper. I have never tried that. Let's try that. Experimenting. So fun. Okay. So I think... We had and had this underneath of it, like so. Okay, I like that. All right. Um, that's got a big hole in it, so I'm just gonna try and do this semi straight. And have this one here. Um, with that one okay I know that's kind of out of camera I apologize but let's see tear the edges a little bit Okay, put the scraps back in the box. Alrighty then. Okay, I'm going to do what I said I wasn't going to do. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't go around the edges of the ones. Usually, usually on the edge of the strip, I distress, but I was too excited to get them on there. I guess you could go back and kind of... But I don't think it's necessary. Blends right in. So there we go. Okay. But this one, <laughs> all that to say, this one, I think I'm going to do the edges of these. Just make them stand out a little more. That's all. Okay. And this one. Oops. If I had any coordination at all with silly cast on, it would be so helpful. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go kind of right there. That there, that there. Mm, I'm loving the, really loving the flourish. Okay. Quit admiring it, Gail, and get it done. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let's glue those down. Okay. Um, let's see. What? Where were you about? 
out right there. So I think I'm going to put that to the bottom. Okay. The wrinkles in the mamagami kind of chew up your glue stick a little bit, but the texture of it is so awesome. Okay. is worth sacrificing a little bit of your glue stick. <laughs> and I've got some blue strings on my glue stick as well. So there's that too. I think I'm just going to go kind of like that with that one. Okay. And this one's going to go to the top. Get down here where you can see me, kind of. Yep. Goobers. Goobers. Okay. So there is that one. Okay, this is very different. This is fun. Okay, so let's get rid of that goopy glue page. Now, let us, oh, excuse my throwing things everywhere. Okay, what do I want to use on this one? Sorry, guys, I, my hands are too full and I have a cast. And it's just, it's just a bit of a situation. Ugh. Okay. All right. So, I don't think I want to use any of those that we just used. Um, this is uh, tissue paper, too. I have done it on tissue paper as well as the um, deli paper. So if you don't have deli paper, hearts and such, okay. Um, oh, I love the little bird. We got to do the little bird, I think. And maybe a bunny. And maybe a flower. Oops. He lost a tail feather, so in that, but that's okay. Just a flower. Let's see this one. It's up top, easy to get. So, if you just want to have some fun with, uh, you know, doing some stamping, this is a this is a fun use for the stamps. I think he needs to go right there. So, I'm just gonna. See, tear him a little bit, keeping my thumb on his body so I don't lose any more tail feathers than absolutely necessary. Okay. So, if any of my gals that are coming to my retreat watch this, oh, it'll be afterwards, so never mind. Okay, here we go. What I was going to say is I had a, a subby request that I do the 
Christmas journal from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dot on camera. So, and I was struggling with should I bring it or should I not because I don't have a um, don't have a cover. So, so I'm gonna just put that in my to do pile for Christmas. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Okay, let's see how this works. We can always grab something else if one of these doesn't make us happy when we put it on the piece, you know. Okay, I would like to get that little spot where the stamp did a goober. I did, I got it. Okay. And the idea with these is to really kind of just blend them in to, to the strip. So I'm not going to distress the edges or anything because I don't want, them, don't want them to stand out like that. I just would like them to kind of blend in. It's obviously not going to blend in on the blue, but it does blend completely in on the digital. So that's kind of cool. And when I was really making these a lot because I was obsessed, <laughs> I would just keep them like this. I have a hook on my wall. I would just hook them on the wall. And then when I needed something to decorate tags or journal cards with, I would use these. Now, on a journal card, they really look kind of cool, you know, on one edge or the other. If you do them this way, you can make them so that they go the length of it. You know, whatever you want to do. Okay, let's get some kind of... What's this one? This is very informative. It says stamped labels. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's that one with that. That might be kind of nice there. Got this number. That's okay. I like the Cherish better, though. So let's do that there. Then I need something up with our bunny. Uh, what do I have? We've gotten some burrs. Nope. I feel like that's too big. Oh, look. I have kind. Kind of like that. I do I do? And then we still have some flourish showing. Okay, I'm happy with those. I think we'll do those. Oh goodness, okay. Um, I, I want to tear off the top of this one. It's too straight. There we go. That's good. I tear the sides of this one too. This is a like a happy book page or something. This one. Okay. All righty then. We need to distress those and glue them down. Gently as she goes. These are kind of kind of fragile papers. The 
blue is just interesting, isn't it? No idea what journals I would I will use these in. No idea. I feel like that needs a little strip of something. It's too too blue. Yeah, I'm gonna put that there. There's always, I mean, there's kind of a formula, but there's always tweaking that can be done, you know. Main thing is it makes your eye happy. Okay, so this one, I'm just going to put that like that. Okay, that makes me happier. I don't know. There's just no explaining. It just makes my eye happy. Okay, so this one is going to go over to the edge kind of of that, like that. This one's going to be midway in the, the papers, like this. And this one is going to go across the top. It's going to go right there. All righty then. We are, on this one, ready to do the, the text stamping, I think. So, let's see how it looks with that. little little cray cray with it but okay I think that is pretty good okay so we got that one done and again I'll just kind of go in threes like that um well how much time do we have left? Ooh, only five minutes. But let's see if we can find some um, like journal cards for that to go with. I don't know. I've got I've got these. That would be kind of neat. But this is three inch, so most of the tags are going to be too thin. Um, this tag might be okay. Ooh, I like that for the middle. Let's do that for the middle. And then I want to show you a I want to show you a journal card if we can. See, yep, that's going to work for that one. And then this little cherish want to cover up that butterfly so that's having an issue with that let's see what about it's too it's too big for that I mean you don't have to use it right away you know what I mean but um oh here's more you know you just gotta believe I've got something in here that we'll go with oh, not that that's Christmas but I don't know. Would that work? It might. We'll try. We'll try it. 
But let's do these. <coughs> Excuse me. Like so right there. We'll do these real quick. I'll try not to go over, but I might. Okay, so that one's going with that, right? What am I doing? <laughs> oh yeah, that one's going with that. Okay, so we're good there. Now this one, I want to have just under there. So I am going to go right here. I might have to, might have to cut a little bit off, but that's okay too. Okay, so, and then that other one, we'll see. We'll see on this one. This one, I just might keep. Okay, this time I'm going to do the distressing around this just so you can see the difference. And of course, over on this blue, it's not going to show anyway. Let's do this so we have a finished card when we're done. Oh, thank you for indulging me, guys. This was fun. I really, I needed one of these sessions, apparently. Okay. So there we go. It is going to go right there. And I will cut off a little bit, so I'll re- I'll re-distress that in just a second. Okay, I am going to go here. Down to about there, I guess. And I am going to put a little line there just to make sure. So, we are... Line that up just like that. Give it a squish. Where's my squisher? Okay, and then I'm going to find my scissors. I guess I could get rid of my to-do box, huh? right there for now okay isn't that pretty I love that that little birdie okay so that goes in the done pile this one then is going to go over to the side because I want to pick up the blue that's in that collage card I did not one of these pieces of paper glued down very well, I'm noticing, so I'm going to redo that too. But this will be a finished journal card in just about three, two, one. Okay. Yep, this is going to go right over here i am gonna clip the corners a little bit so it doesn't cover up the stitching okay this just needs a little more glue Okay, look at how, look at how the blue swirls show through. Love that. Okay, that's becoming my favorite stamp for doing this particular project. Okay, so we got that done too. Now, real quick. Oh yeah, I'm over. Okay, well, that's all right. Well, 
real quick, I think that will go on there. So I'm going to do it. And then we will have six pieces done. How about that? For not thinking I'd get through the whole process. And I did. I did it. Okay. So pop that on. This needs to be distressed too, but we'll get this on it so you can see it. And then some of my pretty swirls underneath the paper. It's kind of killing me. So we're just going to put this right there. How fun are those guys? I do think I'm going to take this and kind of knock that back a little like that. And we got to got to do this too. Okay. I'm going to show you what we did and I'll let you go here. Okay. So, we got this journal card done. We got this journal card done. And we got this tag done. And got this little dragonfly. Got a bee. And got a mushroom. So, there you go, guys. That is the tracing paper strip and that is mixed media monday thanks so much for watching have a grateful day and be kind always we'll see you in the next video bye